COVID has impacted us at every level. We lost um, so many of our community members, lost, lo lost their loved ones, fathers, brothers, mothers, and it impacted us the same way it impacted other communities. As we know, you and I know that COVID does not co know color, COVID does not know communities, COVID does not know race or faith. A lot of the folks in our community do, you know, are not able to access information because of their, their language skills and English aren't very strong. While it was translated, it was translated a month late or two weeks late. So the information that you're getting, especially because COVID changed and so much new information was being discovered and being acknowledged or being understood, the information was going live um, to mainstream and to the Spanish community quickly, but to the rest of the languages that were spoken in the state of Illinois, it was coming at a slower pace. The reality is, again, it took months months of working as an organization to bring back that education and resources to the community to make sure that they understand that again, COVID does not know communities, does not know race or faith. With the lack of that, lack of staff in the institutions and the lack of translation services that the actual government institutions are providing themselves, we have to do a lot of that. There's a longstanding kind of history of mistrust distrust in the Arab community with, with, you know, government institutions. And so we saw it sort of manifest itself in a lot of folks anecdotally. We've heard that, you know, who don't want to take the vaccine, who are afraid of it, who are, who have heard the horror stories and, uh, you know, the myths, I should call them, you know, of the horror stories of people who have been vaccinated. And so it's been a little bit of a struggle, like it has been with other, uh, with other communities for uh for us to you know to convince the the majority of the folks in the community that it's safe to take the vaccine and that they should take the vaccine when we talk about funding and funders our community as an arab american community being counted as white we are the invisible community we are not on the radar of many um institutions funders um and that impacts us as a community it's really Im important for for folks to understand that you know, the, that the Arab community does not get counted in this country in the same way that other communities do. Um, we, we are subsumed under the, the category of white, um, you know, but it, we don't necessarily uh, benefit from the privileges of being white. This not having a category really has hurt us as a community. How do you build programs and services for a community that doesn't exist? And how do you capture numbers when you don't have access to any place where you can capture those numbers so you can build a story around the issue? It's frustrating. I mean, again, you know, am I that, am I that not, not important to you to care about me as a community mm -hmm. that I don't have a box? The local face to what the United States considers the enemy abroad is that Arab face, is that Muslim face, is that Palestinian face. So we face all of that political repression and surveillance and attacks from you know, the, the media and state apparatus and law enforcement. Um, and at the same time, you know, we, we are not, we are, we're invisible when it comes to health data. When you're stopped by a police officer, you're not white, you know? Uh, when we, um, when Arab Muslim uh, children or uh, just Arab, you know, and they're being uh, a target of hate crime. Again, when we talk about white privilege, our community is not afforded that white privilege. Are you white? <sighs> not treated as white. Nope. We are not white. Could have saved lives. It could have saved lives in our community as well. And I think that's why we're continuously pushing is to ensure that funding is available, like the vaccine. We want to make sure that the vaccine is in our community. We want to make sure that it's being taken by our community members in their community where they have no fear. 